go, because you know we're going to need it. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me. Let's fuck him up. All right. Here we go. Ah, a little choppy. Okay. So where are we going? Security station. Follow the hologram, right? There's something with the hologram. Fuck me. How are we for ammo? <laughs> Oh, okay, we do have some. We have some. Okay, we got a little bit of Ripper Blades. We have eight shots of whatever that is. We've got four shots of Plasma Cutter. All right, well, we'll just on stand, stand by, I guess. Span, stand by. find her myself. Are you that selfish? You might let something in. Or out. Shit. So, you've decided to be difficult. Take a seat. I'll deal with you momentarily. Uh, what? Which what? Who? Already they've expanded on uh, Mercer in this, uh, both in terms of story. We we got a little bit more story with him, I think, and then also uh, I don't recall that dialogue uh, being there. That's that's new. That's new. So we can switch between our suits if we really want to. I guess. DSO8 Legacy Rig. That Dead Space 2008, right? Huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I like that. <clears throat> That goddamn... Wow. Fuck's sake, it just won't go... Oh, hold on, I can do this. Stop scaring me. <laughs> Marker. Now again, do you think that's actually on the screen, or am I just seeing that? Oh, level two! Yay! Ammo, so much ammo. Sure, I'll take that immediately. Don't have any more. Ugh, okay.
Yeah, baby. Just beat you to death with things in the room. <sighs> thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Ugh, okay. It's not that I didn't have ammo, I just didn't have a lot of ammo. <laughs> And we did just get some more plasma cutter. Thank God. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we should be using the TK more. Especially if you can grab the slasher blades. They can do a lot of damage. Oh, yes, please. I will probably need that. We are going the right way, right? No, of course we aren't. Why would we be going the right way? I'm just stumbling into danger like an idiot, apparently. What else is new? Oh, is that the problem? We can't, we can't get to the other door, right? And see what this one is because oh, it doesn't have it just doesn't have a sign okay well fuck. okay well I guess we have to go this way then it's the only thing that's unlocked <clears throat> so that's gonna be useless to us because it's just showing us the ultimate direction we have to go but we can't go there it's not taking locked doors or anything into it Kindly avoid disturbing my other patients. What is this? Research, of course. I'm so close to finding that missing factor. A unitologist would understand. You're not taking any chances. I can't do anything with them. Any that are corpses, we will stomp. Taking any chances. I figured hitting that would be a good idea. Oh, God. Fuck's sake. Oh, fuck. 
sake. I literally don't have the ammo. have always been a pain in the ass to deal with. Uh, and again, I'm woefully under-equipped. <laughs> Under-ammoed. Kindly avoid disturbing my other patients. What is this? Research, of course. Before we go causing trouble. Uh, our contact team, we do have some flamethrower. Yeah, it used to be, uh, I remember I could one-shot them with some of the more powerful weapons, and I might have one little sliver of tentacle left to deal with, but, um, I don't remember how I used to deal with them. did before, we'll take out that tentacle and uh, deal with the leaper. Thought maybe I'd just flamethrower the leaper so we can save our shots for... Is he? Where did he go? I heard him come out. There you are, you motherfucker. Again, I've forgotten what that even is. Well, you don't 
really have like super bombs here, so I think uh I did not mean to throw a wheelchair at him, but hey, we'll try anything. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's taking a lot longer, too. I thought I was being pretty systematic with the tentacles, which usually does the trick when you're kind of stuck without massive uh, goodness of devastating power. But um, yeah, I don't know. Kindly avoid disturbing my occupations. What is this? Research, of course. I'm so close to finding that missing factor. A unitard just would understand. Uh, I hope you just go straight. Are you still alive after that? Seriously. <laughs> like, ow. I got pulse rounds. Now you get a fucking node for that? Like, Jesus Christ. What all does this one have? Elevators or doors? Okay. Uh, I mean, I used the full, like, Kamehameha charge shot from the contact beam there and it it freaking did nothing <laughs> well I mean it did a lot of damage I hit him with the regular contact beam that still didn't finish him off like holy moly man craziness I guess I could have stasis him too yeah that's the thing is when you're in an area for the first time it like you just gotta it might not even be that big of an area, but it takes you so long because you gotta, like, kinda inch your way through dealing with each menace as you go. Ugh. <sighs> then you revisit them, you're just, like, running through. And once you know where all the, like, triggers are, you're not so scared, but there are those few random ones they throw in as well. Oh, you know what? Since we're there, let's just pop into the stores. I think I picked up a couple things. Um, yeah. Grab some more uh, plasma cutter ammo, I think. Yeah. That's all we, all we have the money for. Anything else here? No. Nothing in storage. I want to look at this. I don't know if we've seen this. <laughs> oh 
my god, it's literally the 2008 suit. Cool! <laughs> it's literally the 2008 suit. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. Now, what, what does this do for? Does it do anything for us? It has, like, basically the same inventory space that I had, uh... On the, the level three suit. Maybe we'll just uh, stick with this one for a little bit. Oh, look at that. Let's go kind of go old school here. A little bit. <laughs> oh, so this is actually the level three legacy suit. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a skin, basically. Okay, now why are all the doors... Okay, never mind. I'm an idiot. I somehow feel slightly lighter weight for some reason. I don't know why. Less, less bulky with the uh, armor plating, I guess. Okay, so... Um. Oh, yeah, we want to... Uh, Stompity stomp body bodies. I mean, I'm thinking we gotta take that out, right? Why are you stuck in there? Did I actually just, like, take him out with three shots? <laughs> yes, I'll take that med pack. Wow. I, I'm kind of surprised he died that quickly. Anything in here that we want to check out? You know, for a second, I was thinking just with the... Um, I saw the yellow there and the crate. And in my brain, it kind of put them together uh, to be one of those crates you see in Resident Evil. Like Resident Evil 7 and 8. With the yellow tape on them. And yeah, anyway. I was about to start hitting it and trying to get an item out of it, but... There's the wheelchair. The ultimate weapon. Die. He one-shot them with that thing. I know. I was there. <laughs> All right. What do we got here? Oh, crates. Level two, baby. Feels so important. Clearance confirmed. That's it? Okay. Alright, we got, uh... Got a few more shots of plasma rifle or plasma cutter. I'm a little miffed we didn't get a node from that motherfucking guardian. Like... <laughs> thanks. Anytime. So what's the... Yeah, we want to do... Okay, next node, we're doing air. Air. <laughs> We're going on all of the air paths. Could have been doing that. If I was putting it all in the plasma cutter, which honestly wasn't a bad idea. It has definitely paid off.
Stop glitching. Just be dead. Oh, this is the, yeah, the Evelator. Alright. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh. oh. Just saw movement. Hehehe. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, I didn't. It looks like I got my stasis back. Oh, maybe I had a recharge or something. Yeah, so that's something we had to do because we had to clear this area out, obviously. It kind of it looks like there's maybe an item in there. I don't think so. Oh look, another Resident Evil crate. <laughs> Then he used the particle accelerator. <laughs> Switch to a gun that actually has ammo in it. Warp. There we go. Actually, go fully warp. Oh no. Oh, I guess I have four hits of stasis now, not three. Stressing me out, man. Did we go? Oh, we went that way, went around, I guess, to clear this? I guess? I'm terribly. I get so turned around in these rooms. Observation room. Look in here. Oh. Log. Audio log. Patient log retrieved. Oh. There. I have to record these days. Uh, the old memory, you know. As I was saying, the new treatment I'm developing should be just the ticket. The trial is very promising. Trial? Uh, you'll be back at your post in a jiffy with CEC none the wiser. Unless you don't trust me. No, uh, of course I trust you. Let's uh, give it a shot. Yeah, they have kind of shuffled things around a little bit as to uh, where and when you find out certain pieces of the story. I mean, it's still telling the same story, but it's expanding on uh, the old audio logs and text logs, and and sometimes you're finding them in uh, different, maybe a different order or different, certainly different locations from where you did in the original. It's interesting, but I like that because it kind of spreads it out throughout the. Um, chapter a little bit more, I think. A little bit more evenly, rather than kind of having a big info dump during the last section of it. Um, oh, 
Oh, that's right. Yeah, previously it was just Mercer monologuing about the crew while drilling a hole in the guy's head. Yeah, the guy seemed a little bit more of a willing participant in this version. <laughs> uh, zero G therapy. Do we have to go through... Oh, ping. There's always ping. All right, I guess we got to go through zero G therapy. Pretty sure there's a storage room or something here. Oh, cryogenics. I honestly can't remember which room it was that we saw the hole in I mean, it's not through this section. We went through the other section, but. And I forgot how... Yeah, we'll wait on that. Or I'm just going to check over here first. Oh, hey. Don't mind if I do. 